Hello, my name's Sharon Fevrier. I'm 42 years old. I live in London. I'm a single parent and I work full time. I have sickle cell disease, which means that I'm tired quite frequently. Uh, I have the I have crises every now and again. Not so often nowadays, but I do have crises. And there's times that I feel that I feel a bit run down. But whatever the case, I have to still pick myself up and keep going because I've got bills to pay, a child to look after, and therefore my illness doesn't define me, but my illness um, makes me remember that there are certain things that I have to change and be adaptable for. So with regards to treatments, I have had, I take on a regular basis, folic acid, penicillin, and hydroxycarbamide. I take these treatments daily. Um, I've also had a hip replacement. My eyesight has had some challenges. So I have sickle cell retinopathy, which means my vision is affected in both of my eyes due to the lack of oxygen. So I've had numerous operations. I have had my tonsils removed and I have had my gallbladder removed because of the serious pain that I was receiving while I was having the gallbladder difficulties. So those are the main treatments. Also at my hospital, the hospital's great. They provide support with regards to psychotherapy. So when I'm feeling that I'm getting a little bit stressed, um, they would offer some strategies in order to support me to make sure that I don't get ill. So these are all the, the different types of treatments that I've had so far. This whole experience has affected me in the sense that every day I wake up, I'd love to go back to bed. Every day I wake up, I know I've got to go to work. I've got to look after my daughter, run her household. So even though we are tired, even though Sometimes it gets overwhelming. We have to push through it and know that at the end of the day, we can get back into bed. Um, but I, I feel that it affected me, obviously with regards to my eyesight, my vision has been affected. So I have to be more aware of my surroundings, things around me, the people around me, keep in a, in a place that I'm more comfortable. It's made me aware that, you know, if it is cold outside, I don't want to be, be, I don't want to feel cold, I want to be comfortable, I don't want to be too hot. If I'm too hot, I must make sure that I'm hydrated. So it always makes me think in the back of my mind, what do I need to do to keep myself healthy and to keep myself as safe as possible? And it does mean that, you know, I have to check the weather conditions, I have to check whether um, I'm overstressed and if I'm overstressed, find ways to release some of that stress because I know that ultimately in the end, if I don't, find strategies to help me relieve my stress, then I could end up having a crisis. So it's always about forward thinking, what if, what if, what if, and finding the solutions to make a better and a more positive outcome. What I would also say is that I have managed to share some of my experiences in a book that I've written called Blossom Tree, and it depicts the story of a young lady going into a relationship and she has sickle cell and it's about you know how she manages the crises that she has during her pregnancy how she manages her stress levels during her pregnancy being in and out of hospital how the medication affects her and how it doesn't affect her um so but like i said it's based on some of my experiences my own experiences of going through labor having crises while you're pregnant and in a relationship and the support that you need while you're in a relationship and the book's called Blossom Tree. So with regards to sickle cell disease I would give the advice that if you've had a diagnosis make sure you surround yourself with really positive people, make sure you surround yourself with people that love and care for you, that will be there for you if something happens, make sure you have enough fluids, make sure you have your medication, see your consultant regularly. I go three times, three, sometimes four times a year. So it's important to make sure you keep those appointments. 
and, and have those blood tests just, just to see how your levels are. Make sure you've got enough oxygen. Do not excessively drink or smoke. You know, make sure that you keep warm at all times. But like I said, it is really important to make sure that you are educated in this. You are educated about yourself. You look after yourself and don't overindulge in things that might have a negative effect on your body. But ultimately, in the end, it's your responsibility. It's your body. It's your life. So you have to look after it. But it is so important to know that you do have people around you that are supportive, that will help you. Find other ways. If you're finding that you're too tired, do internet shopping, such as that's what I do. If you're finding that you don't want to go out on a particular day, don't force yourself. Don't, don't overexert yourself. But it is important to keep the blood flowing, go to the gym if you can, and do some like, exercise to make sure that you are, you're trying to keep as healthy as possible.